Today you're gonna learn how to make this amazing Neex transition on Filmora. So first of all, just drag the clip over here and you wanna take a screenshot of the beginning frame. Make sure the quality is at full, then you could go take a screenshot like this. Then you wanna open Photoshop or any other photo editing software that's free and to import the screenshot that you just took, you wanna go to Wondershare and then Wondershare Filmora and go to Snapshot and then scroll all the way down until you find the last one that you have. Next up, we want to isolate the building. So what we're going to do is go to the pencil over here. You're just going to trace the wall over here. Now, once you have connected it, you want to right click and go to make selection. Press OK and then press Ctrl and J, which is going to duplicate it. So if we hide this layer, now we have it by itself. Now, what you want to do is go to file and then export and click quick export as PNG and save it to wherever you like. Now if you notice the map and the stats are on the way, so to fix that all you want to do is go over here, make a selection around this and then right click on it, content where fill, then you could press ok. Now you could just export it the way I show you. Now enable this and just disable the wall real quick and go to the pencil one more time and mask out the stair. Again you're gonna right click and make selection then press ok, Control J and you can hide the layer up below it, file, export, quick export as PNG. Next up we're gonna trace the stairs over here. Now we wanna mask out the skin so I'm just gonna make a rectangle around this over here and then press ok, press Control D to deselect the square and then we're gonna do this for the loadout over here so I'll go to the pen tool and just mask it real quick, right click, make selection and then right click one more time now if you notice the content aware fill is not showing over here so you could go to edit and then content aware fill over here and press ok now to mask out the skin in literally two steps go to select subject now before you duplicate it you want to make sure it selects the right stuff so you could go to this button over here and then select the part that you need and make the brush a little bit small now if you want to remove an area you could press alt and it's going to show the minus sign so you could just drag that on Next up, Control J and then disable the bottom one. Then you could export this PNG. Now that you're back on Filmora, you want to import all those PNGs that we did. As you guys can see, I already have the impact on the first clip. If you don't know how I did it, check out this tutorial over here. But otherwise, we're going to import the wall over here, and then the stairs, and then the skin. You want to go to the end of this clip and then add a cut. Then you could delete it. Next up, we're going to change the duration a little bit. So I want the stairs to be first, and then the walls next. So we're going to drag the duration over here and then the skin is going to be after double tap the stairs and click animation customize and add make sure the keyframe is at the beginning of the next stairs and just change the position of x to the left now you can leave the middle stairs without any animation but if you want it you could just add one and make it come from the bottom so change the y and for the wall since we have it below the stairs it's going to be nice if we make it come from the bottom as well so click add then go to the beginning and just change the y position now for the scan i'm going to add a small scale so just double tap it and make the scale a little bit lower now if you notice there's a small gap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the size of the stairs a little bit just make it go to the right now the next step is to add the flicker on the building so it changes colors but before you do that make sure you drop this up as it helps a lot. You want to add a cut after the end of the frame. You want to go a few frames and add another cut then go to the middle part, double tap it, go to color, advance, adjust, go to the right balance and just make both of them at 100% that's going to add a red to it. Again you want to do that for every part so go to the one above it, add a cut, go a few frames color adjusted white balance and then make it at 100% and then same for the wall now for the skin you could just go to the end frame and make it one color as well now you're basically done but if you want to spice it up a little bit go to the effects and search up water then just drag that over the duration of the screenshot you could double tap it lower the emboss and the steps a little bit next up you want to add some shake so go to filters and then shake up and down one Lower down the X position and also lower down the Y and the frequency by a bit. Finally, if you just want to make this a bit cooler, go to the part where it has the animation and go to color, advanced, adjust, go to color again, increase the first two options like this and you want to do that for all the part where it has an animation. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.